okay so in this lecture we are going to learn about uh, rotation and uh, reflections about arbitrary points and lines so let me write the first uh, title is rotation about uh, arbitrary point so what is the meaning of rotation about an arbitrary point now what we have learned before is that we have taken an object and we have rotated it about the origin right so suppose this is the object and these are the lines i'm joining and if i want to rotate up the object about an angle theta so this was with this uh, taking origin into consideration and this was the angle theta and then i rotated the object accordingly by angle theta about which point about the point which was origin now in this section what we are going to learn is that if i have the object but if i don't want to rotate the object about the origin but i want to rotate it about some different point which is suppose here so let me call that point p and now i want to rotate this object so let me join the rays join these lines and now i want to rotate this object about an angle theta then how will the object go so it will go something like this okay so this is the way the point the object will be rotated about an arbitrary points okay so now I, i don't want to concentrate on origin sometimes we may need to rotate objects about a different point so how will we do this rotation so let me go to the next page so we will follow some simple uh, steps okay let me say if the first step what i will do is whatever object is given to us okay we will first so suppose this is the object we will uh, do one thing that we will first translate the point so this is the point at about which i am supposed to rotate so and let me call that point is suppose x y okay what i will do is i will first bring this point to the origin on the point about which i'm supposed to rotate that point i will bring to origin so translate the point pxy who is point pxy about whom i am supposed to rotate to origin so what is that matrix that matrix of doing this type of translation is what is 1 Zero 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 one zero identity here, and what should I write here? So here you are, you know you have to use translation. I'm going to translate it by what minus x and minus y. So automatically, it the point P comes to origin. Okay. Then what I will do is then I will take the object and then rotate it. Then I will take the object and so I hope you understand that now this point P. has changed its position and it has come to the origin now i will rotate this object by angle theta okay then step 2 is rotate the object by angle theta using the transformation what is the transformation the rotation matrix now we know is given by what cos theta sin theta minus sin theta cos theta and then i have 0 0 1 0 0 0 okay so the object is now rotated about the origin and then what i will do and then i will retranslate this point which was at origin i will retranslate it to the 
back to the place x y 1 okay step 3 translate again to the point x y so what is that matrix of translation that matrix of translation is 1 1 and then I have what translation is by plus x plus y and I have a 0 0 0 everywhere 0 0 1 0 0 1 okay so therefore what is the resulting transformation the resulting transformation is t1 t2 and t3 okay what was t1 t1 was translation minus x minus y then rotation cos theta sin theta minus sin theta cos theta 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. and again retranslation by retranslation by 1 1 and then x y and 0 0 1 0 0 1 so now we will find the transformation for rotation of a point about uh, this point minus 2 3 by 45 degrees so what is the meaning of this question the meaning of this question is that I have I have been given the point P is minus 2 3 okay and I have some object now object X is not given to us and this object I am supposed to rotate by what this object I'm supposed to rotate by 45 degrees and I want to find that a matrix which does this so T is that matrix which will do our job which will rotate the object x by 45 degrees and about the point minus 2 3 okay so what is the matrix t1 here the matrix t1 here is i will first translate everything to origin so i will write 1001 in the upper block and here i have 001 and here i will first translate the entire story to origin so that will be plus 2 and uh, minus 3 this will be the first translation the second thing I, I will do is now I will rotate by 45 degrees so that we will call R45 which is cos 45 sine 45 minus sine 45 and cos 45 this matrix will rotate my the translation and I will push everything back to minus 2 comma 3 so i will write t1 is again 1 1 1 0 0 1 identity here 0 0 1 0 0 1 and what is the translation here translation is by minus 2 and 3 so what is the matrix t that that is doing our job the matrix t is nothing but t1 multiplied by t2 multiplied by t3 this matrix you have to compute means you have to multiply these three matrices in this order and that will give you the final answer okay let me do uh, one more problem now now what we want to do is we will take a line segment a b okay so let a b be a segment in the x y plane where a is given by the coordinates 3 5 and b is given the coordinates 4 one and i want to rotate this line segment okay rotate the line segment about which point about the point uh, 2 comma 1 okay by how much degrees by how many degrees by 90 degrees i hope you understand the question the meaning of the question is that this is some line ab okay and you have some point p which is given to be 2 one i want to rotate this line segment by how much degrees by how many degrees by 90 degrees so after rotating it will become suppose like this okay i'm just drawing rough figures okay this angle of rotation is how much this angle of rotation is 
this angle of rotation is 90 degrees okay do you see it's 90 degrees because a to a it is going 90 degrees b to b also it is going 90 degrees means the angle of rotation that i'm using is how much the angle of rotation is 90 degrees okay so i want to find what are the what is a star b star so where will this line segment go to after rotating about this particular point so this means that how will i find a star b star so let me call a b to be object so object is our a b and what is x star x star is our line segment a star b star who is doing this job of taking x to x star it is the matrix t so let t map a b to a star b star okay and what is the object x here object x is a b which i'm writing in the format you know how you write objects objects you write as 3 5 and 1 in the homogeneous coordinates 4 1 1 in the homogeneous coordinates okay so this last one is the homogeneous coordinates so we want to find x star what is x star given by x star is i'm going to take object and apply t on that object so this is the formula for x star what we want to find here is we need to find this t first so how will you find this t this t is obtained by three steps what are the three steps first step translation matrix what is the translation matrix translation matrix will be 1001001 what is the translation translation will be minus 2 minus 1 so that 2 and 1 will come to the origin the second matrix t2 is rotation matrix which is r 90 degrees which is cos 90 sin 90 minus sin 90 cos 90 0 0 1 0 0 1 Okay, this is our second step T2. What is T3? Again, retranslated back so to 2, 1. So, what will be T3? T3 will be 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, and 2, 1. So, what is the mat the combined matrix T given by? T is given by T1 multiplied by T2 multiplied by T3. So, I will take all the three matrices and I will uh, and then I will multiply the three matrices. Okay, when I multiply the three matrices, the answer that I will get. So now this see, cos 90 is uh, 0, right? 0 sin 90 is 1, minus sin 90 is 1, cos 90 is 1. So T1, T2, T3 all have very simple entries 1, minus 1, 2, minus 1, and such things. So when I multiply all the three matrices, I am giving you the answer directly. The product will come to be 0, 1, 0 minus 1 0 0 and 3 minus 1 1 okay so this will be the multiplication of t so this is the transformation matrix and what is the formula of x star we know how is the object obtained the new object is obtained by multiplying the old object by t what is the old object the old object was what was x x was what 3 5 and 4 1 right this was 3 5 and 4 1 with the homogeneous coordinates it's having 1 1 so i'm having 3 5 1 4 1 1 this is the object x multiplied by the matrix t what is the matrix t matrix t is this 0 1 0 minus 1 0 0 and 3 minus 1 1 when i multiply this okay the answer that i will get will come up to be 2 2 1 2 3 1 what is the meaning of this this means that x star the new object is given by 2 2 1 and 2 3 1 this means but this 1 1 is standing for what they stand for homogeneous coordinates so this means that what must be the point a star and what is the point b star the point a star must be 2 comma 2 physical point and b star is how much 2 comma 3 so in all we have proved that what have we proved that if the initial point if the initial line segment was 3 5 and 4 1 
after rotating by 90 degrees the new line segment is having what what are the coordinates what we got we got 2 2 here and b star is how much 2 3 okay in diagram it, it may look that it is going in the second quadrant but our calculations are telling us that this point 3 5 after rotating about this point about the point what about the point 2 1 okay when i rotate it it will come to 2 comma 2 and when i rotate b 4 1 about the point 2 comma 1 by 90 degrees it will come to b star which is 2 comma 3 okay now is it understood so we will now rotate a triangle abc which is having coordinates the the coordinates of a are 2 minus 4 b is 3 0 and c is minus 2 1 by 45 degrees about its centroid okay so what is the meaning of the question you are given some triangle okay which is ABC you will rotate this triangle you will find the centroid of this triangle suppose that centroid is P okay and I'm going to rotate this triangle up so P is fixed I'm going to rotate the triangle about by how much degrees by 45 degrees so every point will with respect to P is going to take a angle of 45 degrees so A will come here suppose so this is A star B will also this is B I will rotate that also by 45 degrees so this will be B star and C will also rotate the point C will also rotate by 45 degrees and this will be over your point C star okay so this way the old triangle is rotated by 45 degrees about what about its origin and you get A star B star C star as new triangle by rotating by how, how much degrees by 45 degrees about whom about the centroid okay so remember when you are supposed to do this object will play the role at the very last stage first let us find the matrix which will do this job right so so, so if i want to do this job i must first know what is point p what are the coordinates of point p then i can find t1 t2 t3 now what is p p is the centroid what is the formula of the centroid if i know the vertices of the triangle it is x1 plus x2 plus x3 upon 3 and y1 plus y2 plus y3 upon 3 so this is x1 y1 this is x2 y2 and this is x3 y3 so they are given to us so what is the addition of all the x coordinates of the triangle it will be 2 plus 3 plus of p this the point about which we are supposed to rotate is coming to be what one and minus one once this point is known and once the angle is known to us that we can quickly find the matrix will which will do all this job so what is t1 matrix t1 matrix is a translation matrix and it will bring the point one minus one what was that point p what what was p one minus one it will bring the point 1 minus 1 so 1 minus 1 is here okay actually so it will bring 1 minus 1 to the origin so that point is that matrix is 1001 and here i will have minus 1 and a plus 1 okay opposite signs because i am bringing it to origin 0 0 1 this is t1 what is t2 t2 is am rotation by 45 degrees which is r45 which is cos 45 sine 45 minus sine 45 cos 45 and 0 0 1 0 0 1 and what is t3 again retranslation by 1 0 0 1 now original coordinates translation 1 and minus 1 0 0 1 so what is the matrix t which will do this job the matrix t which will do this job is t1 
t2 and t3 okay when i do this multiplication now you know that this is actually what cos 45 sin 45 is 0 0.7071 this is also 0 0.7071 cos 45 and sin 45 are same so this will also be 0 0.7071 this will be minus 0 0.7071 with the 0 0 1 0 0 1 and when i multiply all these three matrices i will get a matrix which is given by 0 0.7071 0 0.7071 0.7071 minus 0.7071 here i'll get 1 and minus 1 and 1 0 0 1 okay 0 0 1 so this is the matrix t and therefore what is the object x x star obtained by we know that how is object x star obtained by it is original object is applied with matrix t and who is the original object now the original object is a triangle what are the vertices of that original triangle i have to write them in the homogeneous coordinates because we have used the translation matrix here what was the object a uh, object given by the object x was actually containing three points which was triangle abc so i will write the coordinates here a was 2 minus 4 b was 3 0 and c was minus 2 1 in the homogeneous coordinates i will write a 1 1 1 here and then I will write the matrix T, which I have obtained 0 0.7071, 0 0.7071 minus 0 0.7071 and 0 0.7071. And here in the last row, I have the translation coordinates were also there 1 minus 1 and 0, 0, 1. And when I multiply these two matrices, okay, what am I going to get? this you can work on your free time suppose you get the 5.24 5 with minus 2.41 i'm going to get 3.12 1.12 this is minus 1.123 and this is minus 1.7071 with the 111 as the homogeneous coordinates so this is object x star this means that the object uh, means the point a star is what what is your point a star now this is your point a star which is 5.24 comma minus 2.41 and similarly you can calculate right here b star and c star this is your b star and this is your c star so this is the way you will rotate the triangle about its own centroid by 45 degrees